Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to tell about a story which is called Panda Playdate, Pippin's Playground Palooza. Enjoy it. Once upon a time, in the lush bamboo forests of China, there lived a playful panda named Pippin. Pippin was a cheerful little panda who loved nothing more than exploring and having fun with his friends. His days were filled with laughter and adventure as he roamed the forest, always on the lookout for new places to discover and new friends to meet. One sunny morning, as Pippin was frolicking through the forest, he stumbled upon a colorful flyer pinned to a tree. It was an invitation to the annual playground Palooza, a grand gathering of all the forest animals at the enchanted playground deep within the forest. Excited by the prospect of a day filled with games and laughter, Pippin dashed home to tell his friends about the upcoming event. He found his best friend, a mischievous red panda named Rosie, swinging from the branches of a nearby tree. Rosie, Rosie! Pippin exclaimed breathlessly. Have you seen this flyer? It's for the playground palooza. We have to go. Rosie grinned and hopped down from the tree. Of course we have to go, Pippin. It's the biggest event of the year. I can't wait to see all our friends there. With their excitement bubbling over, Pippin and Rosie set off through the forest to spread the word to all their friends. They found Bella the bear fishing in the river, Timmy the tiger practicing his roars, and Lulu the lemur dancing in the treetops. Each one was thrilled at the prospect of a day spent playing together at the playground. As the day of the playground palooza drew near, Pippin and Rosie could hardly contain their excitement. They spent hours planning their outfits and practicing their favorite games, eager to make the most of the special day. Finally, the day arrived, and the forest was buzzing with anticipation. Animals of all shapes and sizes gathered at the enchanted playground, their laughter echoing through the trees. Pippin and Rosie joined their friends, their hearts filled with joy at the sight of so many familiar faces. And so, with the sun shining down and the sounds of laughter filling the air, the playground palooza began. Pippin and his friends raced down the slides, swung from the monkey bars, and played games of tag beneath the shade of the trees. As the day wore on, Pippin couldn't help but feel a warm glow of happiness spreading through him. Surrounded by his friends, he realized that the true magic of the playground palooza wasn't just in the games they played or the prizes they won, but in the bond they shared and the memories they created together. And as the sun began to set and the stars twinkled overhead, Pippin knew that this would be a day he would treasure forever. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the enchanted playground, Pippin and his friends gathered around a crackling bonfire. They roasted marshmallows, shared stories of their adventures, and laughed until their sides hurt. Suddenly, Bella the bear stood up, her eyes shining with excitement. I have an idea, she exclaimed. Let's play a game of hide and seek in the moonlit forest. The idea was met with cheers and applause, and soon the forest was alive with the sounds of animals scampering through the trees. Pippin darted behind bushes, Rosie climbed high into the branches, and Timmy prowled through the underbrush, his stripes blending seamlessly with the shadows. As the game stretched on into the night, Pippin found himself giggling with delight as he watched his friends darting through the forest, their laughter ringing out like music in the night. And when it was finally time to head home, tired but happy, Pippin knew that he would cherish the memories of this magical day forever. The following morning, as Pippin and Rosie sat beneath their favorite tree, basking in the warm glow of the morning sun, Pippin couldn't help but feel a pang of sadness that the playground palooza was over. But then Rosie nudged him with a smile. Don't be sad, Pippin, she said. We may have to wait until next year for the playground palooza, but every day is an adventure when we're together. And as Pippin looked around at the beauty of the forest, the rustle of the leaves, and the gentle sway of the bamboo, he realized that Rosie was right. With friends like Rosie by his side, every day was a playground palooza. And so, with hearts full of happiness and memories to last a lifetime, Pippin and Rosie set off into the forest, ready for whatever adventures lay ahead. 
As Pippin and Rosie ventured deeper into the forest, they stumbled upon a hidden clearing filled with vibrant flowers and fluttering butterflies. They danced among the blossoms, their laughter mingling with the gentle rustle of leaves overhead. Suddenly, they heard a soft voice calling out from the trees. It was Lulu the lemur, her eyes shining with excitement. Pippin. Rosie, she called. Come quick. There's something amazing over here. Intrigued, Pippin and Rosie followed Lulu deeper into the forest until they came upon a sparkling waterfall cascading down into a crystal clear pool below. The sight took their breath away, and they couldn't help but gasp in wonder. It's beautiful, whispered Rosie, her eyes wide with awe. Pippin nodded, his heart swelling with happiness. It's like our own secret paradise. And so, Pippin, Rosie, and Lulu spent the day exploring the hidden wonders of the forest, their laughter echoing through the trees. They chased butterflies, climbed trees, and splashed in the cool waters of the waterfall, their spirits soaring with each new discovery. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, painting the sky with streaks of orange and pink, Pippin knew that he had found something truly special. It wasn't just the playground palooza or the hidden waterfall that filled him with happiness, but the simple joy of being surrounded by friends who loved and accepted him just as he was. And as they watched the stars twinkle into life overhead, Pippin knew that no matter where life took them, he would always carry the memories of this magical day in his heart. With a contented sigh, Pippin snuggled close to his friends, feeling the warmth of their friendship wrapping around him like a cozy blanket. And as they drifted off to sleep beneath the starry sky, Pippin knew that no matter what adventures tomorrow brought, he would always be grateful for the gift of friendship. And so, dear reader, as Pippin and his friends drifted off to sleep beneath the stars, their hearts full of happiness and their minds filled with dreams, we bid farewell to our beloved panda and his playground palooza. May their adventures continue, and may the bonds of friendship always guide them on their journey through the enchanting world of the bamboo forest. I hope you enjoy listening to Panda Playdate, Pippin's Playground Palooza.